We're back with today's consumer this morning. Ways you can save big during your next trip to the grocery store. That's right. With decades high inflation, food prices are going up. Everything from snacks to produce to my beloved meats and those <laughs> everyday items, even pet food becoming more expensive. In fact, experts estimate that those prices are going to rise in overall 5% in the first six months of this year. So what can you do to keep your grocery bills down? Well, NBC senior consumer investigative correspondent Vicki Wynn has been looking into it. Hi, Vic. Good, Hi, morning. good morning. Can't believe this price of bacon up 18%. I know. So a, a tiny tear just came out of Al Roker's eyes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Chicken and eggs up 10%. So how do you stretch your bucks? Okay, we're going to have to do some serious yoga to stretch our dollar. Savannah, <laughs> inflation rising at the fastest pace in four years. You just talked about it, 5% in the first six months of this year. So we checked in with our friends at Consumer Reports. The first thing you want to do is take stock, take an inventory of what's actually in your pantry yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. The USDA says the average family of four wastes $1,500 a year on food they don't eat. So Guilty. don't feed that person. Especially with little kids. Right? I know it's hard. So, But if you make a meal plan and you go to the store with that list and stick to it, that's one way to save. Consider store brands. Consumer Reports actually says Costco and Trader Joe's rank very high for their mm -hmm. store brands. You can save 25% doing just that. Mm -hmm. Buy in bulk whenever you can. Those shelf-stable items like beans, soup, Kirkland. pasta. Mm -hmm. And then finally, there's that section in the back of the store where the little orange labels are. Go there. Yeah. Check for what's mm -hmm. on clearance. It will expire sooner, but you can save a lot that way, too. Okay, if you turn right around, someone named Hoda is waiting for you. Hello. Hey, and I don't know if Carson's going to like this news, but meat prices are skyrocketing, too. So if you want something that's just more affordable than that, what should you get? So we're going to talk about ways to substitute, right? But also, shop at international and ethnic markets. A lot of times, they'll have cuts of meat that are cheaper than normal. Mm -hmm. The other thing to do is... Substitute, add in beans, like really oh, yeah. supplement your meats. Like let's say you have a pound of ground beef and mm -hmm. you're gonna make chili, add more beans, use half a pound of that meat. The next day, use the other half on tacos or burritos. So that one pound becomes two meals. Yeah. When it comes to produce, yeah. the thing you wanna do is skip anything that's pre-cut or pre-sliced. That yeah. always costs more. Yeah. And consider buying frozen or canned vegetables. They're more nutritious actually because they're usually packaged right at the peak. Hmm. And then I didn't know that. I didn't know condiments that. are also going up in price ketchup so, mayonnaise that's the main mayonnaise. one so i oh. bet you could make mayonnaise at home with yeah. items that you have do you what have you eggs mean, yes do you have oil yes vinegar yes mustard Yes. Boom. Skills. You've got mayo. But do you need skills too? Mustard or and mustards and mayo. Yeah. Yeah. Mix it up. It's easy. Mustards. Okay. You see? Okay. Who knew? Make it at home. With You're blowing, you blowing our minds. Nice talking to you. Blowing our minds. Okay. One of the things I enjoy about you is you always have these apps that I've never heard of. Yeah. Are there apps that folks can download that will help them save money? Absolutely. Consumer Reports really likes two apps. Before okay. we get to those, though, I want to make sure everyone is a member of the loyalty program at whatever grocery store you go to. You always want to sign up with your email or your phone number. That's instant savings, cash in your pocket right there. Never go to the grocery store without digital or paper coupons. The two apps to try out. One okay. is called Flip. Super easy. You put in your zip code. They tell you every week, this is what's on sale in your neighborhood. That way, if you see steaks that are on sale somewhere, you go to that store that week. Oh, and that's wow. what you want to get. The other app is called Ibotta. This one requires a little bit more work. Ibotta. Ibotta, I-B-O-T-T-A. You will get cash back rebates on tons of different items, but the thing you have to do is remember to take a photo of your receipt at the end of that shopping mm. trip. You send it into Ibotta, then they'll give you a rebate in the form of a PayPal payment or a gift card you choose. Flip wow. and that bottle. All right. Yes. Mr. Daly is waiting okay. for you. Hey, Vic, so people are, you know, had a lot of food delivered during yeah. the pandemic. So, you know, but that ain't cheap. Nope. So what can people do now if they still want to get delivery service? You like going to the grocery store, right? I love I going to Costco. Me too. <laughs> I enjoy it. I think it's relaxing. But on the days when you don't have time, let's say you're over at the Voice series busy. Right. You have to do the math, okay? So $99 <laughs> Instacart Express, one year membership. If you get groceries at least every two weeks and you mm -hmm. buy more than $35 mm -hmm. worth, which you do, you have we like do. a 17 person family, right? Yes, we do. <laughs> okay. yes, so we do. that will work Close. out for you. You always have Amazon um, Prime as well, which gives you access to Amazon mm -hmm. Fresh as well as Whole Foods. That's $119 per year. Totally worth it if mm -hmm. you get a lot of groceries. The other thing to not forget is Bopus. I knew it. I knew it. Always I comes back to Bopus. Bopus. Hey, okay. this is my panel. <laughs> I know, but I'm sorry. When this we say Bopus, panel. I come running. Thank what you. is Bopus? Yes. It, you can buy, buy online, online, pick, pick up, up in store. store. She made it last two Christmases well. ago. You can also get curbside delivery. That is always free. Tons of local chains do it. Safeway, <laughs> Kroger, H-E-B. The one thing to consider is, look, if that person's bringing the groceries all the way out to your car, consider giving them a tip yes, if you sure. can. If yes. you can.
Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. I buy into all of it except the chili thing. If I'm going to make chili, I can't skimp on the beef. I can't yeah. do half a pound rather than yeah. a pound yeah. and then have more beans yeah. to yeah. make add the chili. I can't beans, do that. You can't. I'd rather live on the streets. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was his takeaway. That was okay. his takeaway. Okay, fair Opus. enough. Thank you, Vic. Stick yeah. your machine. Thank you. By the way, NBC News is keeping track of the rise in prices of popular food staples, and you can actually check them out based on where you live. If you go to our website, today.com slash food. Vicky, thanks for that. Uh, Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.